I want us to really take a deep breath. I want us to really, really take in a deep breath. I want you to expand those lungs. I want you to just take a deep breath and allow, allow you to really fall into your body, into your physical and spiritual body. Because as I see it, my soul family, day in and day out, sometimes we just need to take a break. We need to stop. We need to stop ourselves in our breaks and just take a deep breath to remind ourselves that we are alive, that we are alive in a world that oftentimes comes across so crazy, comes across as a world full of un unjust acts, a world filled with so much uh, hate from humans, so so much so 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 much atrocities that we see on a day day to day basis. Blessings to you, my God, order. Um, but G Light, blessings to you. But the important message is for us to do our very best is not always possible, but we have to do our very best to not allow everything that we intake, everything that we energetically, spiritually, and vibrationally, mentally, and emotionally intake, ingest, we cannot allow it to sink into our soul. When we allow these negative experience and the things that we are exposed to, to sink into our soul, it can really change the makeup of what we do and how we show up and how we go about and the experiences we have. So even though at times it is inevitable from seeing so much craziness out in the world, whether we see it through social media, whether we see it through the news, whether we hear it on a podcast, whether we just see it out and about, we have to take a deep breath and be human, be humane, but not allow it to ingest all the way down into our inner spirit because then it will change. It will alter the makeup of our inner being. It will alter how we function, how we show up in life, the decisions that we make, and how we are allow ourselves, how we allow ourselves to move forward. That being said, that being said, I want us to Take a brief moment. I want us to take a brief moment. Just a was in the house. Blessings to you, beloved. See, I see a big message coming here from my goddaughter, Ariano, but I don't see it here in my device. That's the thing. Sometimes it doesn't come up in both devices. Let me see if I can see it. Probably you, know, you sound like a deep voice robot. Then it goes back to your normal voice. Really? Oh, well. At least I know I'm not possessed. So that's a good thing. So it is important for us to, I want to take a, a brief moment to touch on, on a particular topic, which should not be me complete new news to you. Some of us just need to be reminded of this spiritual truth, also psychological truth as well. Um, thank you, just thank you, Aliso. Santo, blessings to you. We love light. It is important for us to understand how our emotions work. So that being said, before I share with you what I want to say with to you tonight in um, setting the tone for our Tarot Tuesday, um, I want us to think about this particular statement. I want you to say it out loud. I want you to write it in the chat. I want you to repeat it to yourself throughout this evening. And the message is, I release unwanted emotions. I release unwanted emotions, unwanted equates to unhealthy, unwanted equates to unnecessary, unwanted equates to anything that is harmful, that is detrimental, that is heavy to your spirit, 
anything that blocks you, anything that doesn't allow you to maximize your life, anything that doesn't allow you to be present in your body, anything that doesn't allow you to see blessings, to receive blessings, to be about blessings, anything that doesn't allow you to become the best version of yourself, anything that doesn't allow you to feel fully happy, live in joy, embrace happiness, unwanted, unwanted. I release unwanted emotions. I release unwanted emotions. The kind of emotions that has you bickering with people. The kind of emotions that has you, listen to my words, the kind of emotions that has you being defined by other people as being someone obnoxious, impossible to deal with, difficult to work with, not a, a good person to be around with, or, or not a good person to be around, um, not a person that easy to understand, not a person whose energy is pleasant. Anything that has you being interpreted or defined by someone else, whether it's your friends, your family, your coworkers, whomever you deal with on a day-to-day -day basis in your life, anyone that is defining you in a negative way, in a negative manner, whatever energy, whatever vibration you're putting out there into the universe that's allowing other people to misinterpret who you are, to read you wrong, you release I. I release, you're gonna say I. I release unwanted emotions. Unwanted emotions. Unwanted emotions. You know why Spirit says that to us today? You know why Spirit shares this thought with us tonight? Because the universe wants to remind us of a universal truth, spiritual truth, from a spiritual perspective, from a metaphysical perspective, and even from a psychological perspective as well. I try my best as a human being, as a spiritual being, as a personal development life coach, as an empowering life coach, as a vessel for spirit. I try to understand why so many people find themselves at a block, find themselves unable to see themselves on the other side of daily challenges, conflict, chaos, inner conflict, lack of joy, lack of freedom. So, many, so, so much to deal with that brings headaches and, and torments their spirit. And I always try to understand each person, each human being is a different case. Not two people are the same exactly. Even when going through experiencing the same issues, we're not the same. We don't experience things the same. We don't go through those experiences the same. The experience might be the same, but how we process that experience is not the same because we are our own individual entity. So the point, get to the point. I want to get to the point. I want to roll this dice today and not let anything hold us back longer than we need to here. Um, we must understand that emotions that we are, listen to me, unable, unwilling, or do not know how to express, unable, unwilling, or do not know how to express, emotions that we are unable to express, emotions that we are unwilling to express, emotions that Oftentimes, we don't know how to express them. It turns into, it transforms into, it takes the form of anger. It changes into anger. It transforms into anger. Do you hear me? Emotions that we do not know how to express, fail to express, or are unwilling to express, whichever those emotions are, they, for the most part, tend to transform 
into anger. So we must be cautious. Listen to me carefully. We must be cautious on the fact that so many of us fail to truthfully, profoundly express our emotions at home, in our professional environment, with the people we cohabit with, with the people that we interact with, with the people that we work with. So many of us, to an astronomical amount of us, fail to express our emotions. And that is very, it is, it is detrimental to our inner spirit, it's detrimental to our growth is detrimental to our ability to really show up in this universe. This is regardless of what walk of life you're in. This is regardless of what your religious and spiritual faith is. This is regardless of what God you subscribe to. This is regardless of what your gender is. This is regardless of what your sexual orientation is. This is regardless of what your social economic status is. This is regardless of what part of the world you find yourself living in. When we fail to, are unable to, are unwilling to, or don't know how to express our emotions, it will eventually, at some point, for the most part, turn, transform into anger. So tonight's spirit wants us to be mindful of this so that we can, for a minute, sit in our emotions. I don't know if this message is for you, but whomever this message is for, I hope it reaches you. Because let me tell you something. How many of us can testify to the fact that we find ourselves protecting other people's emotions more than we do our own? Can anybody testify to that? When you find yourself protecting other people's emotions, whoever those people are, when you find yourself protecting other people's emotions more than you fend and protect your own. Baby, let me tell you something, my dear. You, you are bound for your eventual demise. You putting yourself in danger zone. You're putting yourself in very, very, very dangerous zone. Why? Because there's only so much that our body, our mind, our inner spirit, our physical body, our spiritual body, our emotional body, our mental body can take. There's only so much of it. I was in a reading the other day with a client where I was sharing the fact that our body, our physical body, has really not that much different than a vehicle, than a car. The only difference is that we have emotions. We have a soul. We have an incarnate spirit. And a car, a physical car, a car, a vehicle, does not have these things, right? But, to a certain extent, but um, we are a vehicle. We are a car. There's only so Many miles you can put in a car, regardless of the brand, of the make and model of the car, regardless if it's a luxury car, regardless if it's just a, a regular car, no matter what kind of car it is, there's only so many miles that you can put into that car. Even if you take excellent care of that car and the maintenance is up to date in that car and you take it to get checked and what have you, there's only so many miles that car will do, okay? The less you take care of it, if you are careless with your, um, with your maintenance of the car, if you're careless with how you drive the car, if you're careless 
about doing a, um, what you call that thing that we do on cars? Um, not just the oil change, but the, the getting a check that has a name, that has a name. It's not coming to me right now, I'm going blank. Um, when you go through, um, what's it called, what's it called, what's it called, what's it called, what's it called? Um, what's it called, como se llama? Um, can anybody help me out here, como se llama? When you are, when you take your car in for a, not a checkup, tune up. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, tune up. You know, if the the less tune ups you do to the car, the less maintenance you you do to the car, it will give up. It will give up on you much sooner. Hear me out, please. Hear me out, please. Hear me out. Esto es importante. This is very, very, very important. The less maintenance, if you're horrible with the tune up, if you don't protect your car, it will eventually give up on you. Now, what's the point in that? The point is, the car could very well, hear me out, you all, the car could very well be equipped to do 300,000 miles, let's just say. That car was made to resist 300,000 miles, let's just say that, for example. But because of your lack of maintenance, because you did not do a good job doing uh, uh, getting uh, giving it its tune-ups. You were a horrible driver. You were too harsh, too hard on the car, and you were always pushing it to the rim. The car did not reach its three hundred thousand mile maximum capacity, and it gave up sooner. Well, guess what? There's no difference than you and I. There is absolutely no difference between you and I in that, in, in, in retrospect. There is no difference. So bringing it back to the message that Spirit has me delivering to you tonight, whether you're Catholic, whether you're Jehovah's Witness, I doubt that there's a Jehovah's Witness listening to me right now, but you'd be surprised. Trust me, you'd be surprised. Um, regardless of what spiritual path, religious path, God you, 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 you subscribe to, we are a vehicle that can only take so much. We are equipped to go so far, but that length depends on how we take care of ourselves. So all kinds of unwanted, pinned up emotions. Hear me out. All kinds of unwanted. And what does unwanted mean for the purposes of this message tonight? Unwanted equates to unhealthy, unnecessary. Um, it equates to anything that jeopardizes your well-being. All of the above. All of the above unwanted anything that jeopardizes your well-being any and all unwanted emotions that are pinned up in our body physical spiritual and energetic emotional mental will eventually keyword will eventually find an outlet it will eventually find an outlet because there's only so much that the body can take with the lack of maintenance with its lack of protection there's only so much it can take just as much as a vehicle there's only so much a vehicle will i don't care if you spend seven thousand dollars on your car or if you spent one hundred and fifty thousand dollars in your car it could be the most expensive vehicle on, in the world there's only so much that vehicle will will take if you fail to do tune-ups if you fail to do the maintenance if you fail to change the oil if you fail to take care of it there will be a point where it'll, it'll give up without having reached its maximum capacity so i want us all to recalibrate tonight 
So that in this process of mental, spiritual, energetic, emotional recalibration, we can be blatantly honest, brutally honest with ourselves as to whether or not we are giving our emotions a voice. Because more often than not, we tend to be protecting everyone else's emotions over ours. Why? Again, back to the drawing board, back to the broken record, back to the same shit you and I both know. We are afraid of making people upset at us. We are afraid of being rejected. We are afraid of being ignored. We are afraid of retaliation. We are afraid of missing out on what? I don't know. We are afraid of losing. We are afraid of being fired. We are afraid of X, Y, and Z, and then some. And because of all these things that at the end of the day root in what? Fear. We fail to authentically give our emotions the voice it requires, then ultimately putting us in a place of um, we are, we are, we, we, are, we get placed or we place ourselves in a situation where we fail to take care of us the way we should be taking care of us. And the body will only go so much. The heart can only take so much. The mind can only take so much before it starts to affect your nervous system, anxiety, stress, before it starts to attack your liver, your heart, before it starts to show up in other areas of your life. Am I making any sense to you tonight? My soul family, am I making any sense to you tonight? So my question to you is, I know you're afraid of making your husband upset but are, are you afraid of dying? I kid you not, literally. I know you are afraid that your mama or your daddy won't ever talk to you again because of what you have to say, have to say, say giving a voice to your emotions. I know you're afraid of your parent rejecting you, denying you, putting you on the blacklist, blocking you, Stop loving you, even though that's very questionable. <laughs> Why? Because if your parent wants to really love you, they may not like what you have to say, but nothing that you could say would ever stop a parent to not love you anymore. Whole different topic. I know you're afraid of speaking your truth. I know you're afraid of giving your emotions a voice. I know you're afraid of having that conversation with your boyfriend. I know you're afraid of expressing how you really feel or how you really felt. Because it's not only about how you feel now. It's about how you felt five years ago. It's about how you felt six months ago. It's about how you felt ten years ago. And that unspoken, those unspoken emotions have been brewing internally. Which is why you have different kinds of physical ailments or you're, have, you're battling some kind of disease or you're battling some kind of aches and pains or you have God knows some, what kind of addiction because it needs an outlet. It can only be pinned up for so long. So one of two things occur. One of two things happens with our unspoken emotions. One, it can show up in a physical kind of way, health-wise, your health, your physical health, okay? Or it will kill you. Most of you are lucky that you have not fallen dead on the floor from a heart attack. Or an aneurysm. Most of you can really count your blessings 
with the fact that you have not fallen dead. So something greater than you and I is protecting you. Ancestors are protecting you. Spirit guides are protecting you. Because if not, you would literally fall dead. Because there's only so much that, that this physical vehicle can actually take. Nothing that I, I will, I would, I would, I will dare say, I will go as far as to say. I don't believe that nothing that I can say tonight, you know, in terms of whatever oracle card comes up for us tonight, whatever cards come up for our sign, nothing I say tonight, I believe, for the purposes of tonight's opening message, I don't think anything that I say tonight can be more or should be or will be more important than what I've just shared with you. The fact that the vast majority of us are living a life in which for one reason or another, we fail to really give our emotions the voice it deserves, the voice it needs. And the message is, when we fail to express our emotions, okay, we put ourselves in harm's way because our physical body is a vehicle no different than a car that depends on the maintenance that we give it, that depends on the tune-ups, that de depends on how we take care of it in order for it to give us its maximum capacity mile-wise. The vehicle can, can, it can, the vehicle's capacity is 300,000 miles, as, as my example was. But if you don't do its tune-up correctly, and if you don't change the oil, and if you don't take care of the car, the car will break down, and it will never meet its maximum. This is what I need you to find. I need you to f allow this these metaphors to fall in your spirit. It will never be able to reach its maximum capacity. Ooh, I hope that really hit you. It will never. The vehicle was made and it has the potential. It has the potential of doing 300,000 miles. But it will never reach its highest capacity, its maximum capacity because of lack of maintenance. Because of all the tune-ups it didn't have because of all the oil changes it didn't get on time. Us, we will never reach our highest potential, our highest potential, our maximum potential. We will never reach our full capacity based on the lack of voice that we fail to give our emotions. Because Spirit teaches us, teaches us tonight that unexpressed emotions, unexpressed emotions is detrimental to our physical, spiritual, mental, and emotional well-being. And it has to have an outlet one way or another. In a positive or in a negative way, it has to find its outlet. So what are you doing tonight? I know you're afraid of what your boss will say, but are you in it for you? I know you're afraid of what he or she will say, but aren't you more afraid of falling, dropping dead? Aren't you afraid of not executing in your lifetime, living up to your maximum capacity? This is a lesson for all of us, all of us, okay? What are you doing to Give your emotions a voice. Again, we fail to give our emotions a voice based on the obvious. And the obvious is only at the end of the day, I don't care what you say, it's only rooted in fear. That's the root of our inability, unwillingness, and not knowing how to give our emotions a voice, it's rooted in fear. Fear of abandonment, fear of rejection,
fear of not being understood, fear of the people that we love, if they stop loving us, fear of, you know, being forgotten, fear of being ignored, fear of, uh, um, let's see here, fear of retaliation. If I tell you my truth, will you retaliate against me? If I tell you my truth, if I tell you how I really feel, will you use this against me? So, you know, there's so many fears that we as humans hold on to that really in, in, in interferes with our ability to speak our truth, you know. And at a deeper level, at a deeper level, At a deeper level, some fears are, are rooted on really like some crazy ideas. You'd be surprised what I have been able to listen to and witness in the past 30 years of my life doing this active work. You'd be surprised what I've been able to listen to. I've listened to things such as, which is why you might, if you've been hanging with me for a while, for a long time, you've might, I'm sure you've heard me say this a, hundred, a thousand times in the past, where you'd be surprised how many people live unhappily and deal with things that are not healthy for them and sacrifice their own well-being, their own sanity, their own happiness, their own joy, okay, due to a promise that they made to a deceased loved one. Ooh, I know it sounds crazy to some of you, but trust me, it ain't crazy to me because I've heard that over the years many, 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 many times. Many times. Countless of times. Okay. Well, you know, I've, been, I, I've made a promise to my mom that, that, that I would take care of him. Yeah, but he's destroying your life. He's being ungrateful. He doesn't have your best interest at heart. He doesn't care about your sanity, about your peace, about your joy, about your freedom, about your happiness. And you're being held hostage in your own life. <laughs> you are being held hostage in your own life due to a promise that you made, a deceased loved one that you loved. Wow. Do you hear me? Is there anybody in this life right now that can huh, support that? Whether because you've lived it yourself, whether because you're living it still now, or whether because you know someone in those shoes. I made a promise to my grandma. I made a promise to dad. I made a promise to my mama. I made a promise to... To, to, yeah, what about the promise you need to make to you? What about the promise you need to make to you? What about the promise that you need to uphold for you, for your own well-being, for your own growth, for your own peace of mind, for your own sanity, for your own balance, for your own self in the name of true self-love? In the name of true self-love. What about you? Don't you know that it's a learned behavior? Don't you know that it's a learned behavior to not include you? Not include yourself? You want everyone else to love and be loved, but you don't love yourself? To the same capacity that you want other people to love themselves and love others? Exactly. Thank you. I am chronically resilient. Do you know what I mean? So, how are you protecting you? That's my question to you. How are you protecting you in the process of you protecting everyone else? Hmm. How are you protecting you in the process of protecting everyone else. Come on now, somebody. Because guess what? 
Only you can protect you. Don't let anybody fool you. Only you can protect you. Don't let anyone fool you. Only you can protect you. So for those of you joining us now, getting ready to roll this dice here with our Oracle card of the night. And the message tonight is, the theme of the night is, I release unwanted emotions. I release unwanted emotions. Write it in the chat, you all. Write it in the chat. For each and every one of you who knows you have pinned up emotions, emotions that you have not been able to express, emotions that you were never given the opportunity to express, emotions that you did not know how to express, emotions that you don't even know how to convey, emotions that you don't even know how to confront and deal with and give it a voice, emotions that you are afraid of expressing. I release unwanted emotions. I release unwanted emotions. Come on now. I release unwanted emotions. I release unwanted emotions. Some people in your life, some people in your life have projected their emotions onto you. And you're holding on to emotions and sometimes you don't even know why you feel the way you feel. That's even worse, Lord. I tell you. you don't even know why you feel the way you feel. All you know is that you're mad. All you know is that you're upset. All you know is that you're angry. All you know is that you're, ah, but you don't even know why. Do you hear me? You're possessed by someone else's emotions. You're possessed by someone else's unexpressed emotions. That's even worse. Perhaps, perhaps, let alone the fact that you can't even express your own emotions, but you're hanging around with someone else's emotions. Lord, baby, black Jesus, help me. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? This is why it's so important to do balance work, to do heart chakra work, to do grounding work. This is why it's so important for us to from time to time visit the ocean, visit a body of water, allow emotions to flow, allow emotions to flow, give your emotions a voice. This is how you do your oil change, your maintenance, your tune up by protecting your feelings, protecting your emotions. Now, in no way, shape, nor form did I say that everything that we feel, all of our emotions are right. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Don't get it twisted. We can be feeling things that are not right and are not true. But the inability, the unwillingness, or not knowing how to express the emotions that we're going through, the emotions that we're feeling, can only end up bad. For us, it can only end up bad for us in the long run. Okay. So let's see what the opening oracle card is today as I shuffle here. Which one of you, how many of you, I should say, are joining me for the end of the year healing class? The end of the year healing class on December the 15th. It's going to be at Gypsy Love Metaphysical Shop. It is going to be an energetic night. It is going to be an uplifting evening, but more than the upliftment and the energy and all that kind of good stuff. It's more about making sure <laughs> we leave in 2023 what was owned by 2023. Especially if the things that we are leaving behind owned by 2023 are not the things that I want to carry on to my 2024. 
because it didn't help me. It didn't allow me to step in my power. It didn't allow me to really, you know, maximize my life. It didn't allow me to feel and be blessed as I should. We're leaving things behind where they should be. We're cutting some cords. We are recalibrating. We're cleansing out old unwanted energy, doing away with old vibrations so that we can step into 2024 with the clarity, with the tenacity, with the conviction, with the decision making, with the with the with the focus that we need to have. So December the 15th at 7 p.m. It will be the end of the year healing class, okay? There's a lot of good stuff that I have planned for you all for that evening. Um, yeah, it'll be cool. It'll be really cool. We're gonna release a lot. We're gonna let go. We're going to recalibrate. We're going to focus. We're gonna set the tone. We're gonna set the right vibration for 2024. So how many of you are accompanying me on that evening? Okay, how many of you are going to join me on December the 15th at Gypsy Love for the end of the year class? Yet, the link is in my bio, okay? The link is in my bio. Click the link in my bio. Yeah, it's the first tab in the link in my bio and sign up. There's only a limited amount that will be uh, accepted because it's a small place, it's not too big, so there's only a, a certain number of people that we will allow for the class. But I hope that you don't miss it. I hope if you don't miss it, it'll be a great class. I promise you, it'll be a great class. It'll be a great class for us to step into our authentic power and come out of there, focus, knowing what we need to do, knowing how we need to put it into practice. So I hope you join me on December the 15th at 7 p.m. at Gypsy Love. You must RSVP, okay? Do not think that you're going to show up on the day of and be allowed into the class because more likely than not, as it tends to be the case, the class will be full by then. So if you show up without having RSVP'd, then you're gonna be locked out, okay? And I don't want that to happen. So make sure that you are SVP, that you sign up for the class.